Shalom family. Just a quick reminder. Prophecies concerning Israel. During the 20th century, we, the privileged final generation, were to witness God beginning to fulfill in whole or in part seven prophecies regarding the Jewish people. Number one, the regathering of the Jews from the four corners of the earth, Isaiah 11, verse 10 to 12. There were 40,000 Jews in Palestine in 1900. Today, 7 million and increasing. And after the 7 October attacks from Hamas, more and more, 450 to 500% increase in Jews from around the world wanting to go back to Israel. The only place, even in this war, that they feel safe. Number two, the reestablishment of the state of Israel, Ezekiel 37, verse 21 to 22. This prophecy, fulfilled on May the 14th, 1948, when the Israeli Declaration of Independence was proclaimed in Tel Aviv. Number three, the reclamation of the land, Ezekiel 36, verse 34 to 35. When the Jews started returning to the land over 100 years ago, it was a malaria-infested swamp, denuded of all its forests. Today, it produces A-grade food in abundance and forests everywhere that have been replanted and are thriving as the land rejoices in their return. Number four, the revival of the Hebrew language. Zephaniah 3 verse 9 and Jeremiah 31 verse 23. When the Jews were scattered worldwide, they stopped speaking Hebrew. But in the 1800s, God raised up a Lithuanian Jew named Eliezer ben Yehuda to resurrect the language from the dead. Hebrew now predominates as one of the three official languages of Israel. The Hebrew language will go from the synagogue to the house of study, from the house of study to the school, from the school into the home, and become a living language, Eliezer ben Yehuda. And it has done exactly that. Number five, the reoccupation of the city of Jerusalem, Zechariah 8, verse 4 to 8. When the Israeli War of Independence ended in 1949, the old city of Jerusalem was under Jordanian occupation. The Israelis reclaimed the city during the Six-Day War on June 7, 1967. Here, paratroopers who captured the Wailing Wall lean against the stones and weep as a symbol that this was a rare occasion unparalleled in human history. Number six, the resurgence of the Israeli military. Zechariah 12 verse 6. Even though Israel is one of the smallest nations in the world, its military is considered one of the top ten. Number seven, the refocusing of world politics on the nation of Israel and its city of Jerusalem. Zechariah 12 verse 2 to 3. Today the world's attention is focused on Israel and Jerusalem as has been abundantly evident. In 2023, everyone is now focused on the main predominant point of the whole final week, Israel. The whole land of Canaan where you now reside as a foreigner, I will give you as an everlasting possession to you and your descendants after you. And I will be their God. Genesis 17 Verse 7 to 8. You are living in a time and seeing prophecy unfold that our forebears wished they could have seen. We are on the very cusp of the end and of the Lord collecting his bride. Keep on standing. Keep on shining. And keep looking up. Shalom.